What's up guys, welcome back to L Aquatics. So today we are doing a water change along with building some platform exit before the water change. So as far as the green hair algae, I dosed this yesterday, uh, 70 drops, since my system is around 120, 130 gallons. And um, every other night I, started to pick up you know manual manual removal of the green hair algae but so far it's looking a little better getting there so uh, here th this is a really good uh, especially now that I am in a fallow period you know I, I don't, I'm not risking any uh, livestock as far as fish goes and the tank is empty so this is the perfect time to kind of experiment um, with the phosphate RX and other medications that I think that will help me get rid of the green hair, hair algae along with you know some of the bubble algae that's that's growing in my tank first thing I'm gonna do for the flatworm exit is remove my carbon which is stored down here in the sump I have two pounds, uh, I mean two cups of carbon that I'm using from, this is BRS, so I'll take that out, take the second one out, and what I'm going to do is uh, empty this out uh, and put in new fresh carbon. When I start uh, mixing fre uh, fresh water and salt water, uh, what I do is fill this top reservoir up and release the water down here to this chamber, to this food trash can right here. And this is where I'm doing the salt mix. I have a heater in there and a wave maker and another pump that's mixing the salt. I'm using Red C uh, Coral Pro for my salt so based on the instructions it's going to be around two hours before that's ready and for the flat marm exit it's i think it takes around 45 minutes to an hour second step on dosing the before the flat marm exit is i want to just base the rocks to make sure uh try to get all the flat worms um unattached from the rocks so I just go around the whole tank, all the rock surfaces, or around the coral base, and the corals too, and see what floats around. And then I'll start dosing. Big box right here, you only get this much uh, medication and it's supposed to treat up to 300 gallons so I can do probably two or three uh, doses of flat one exit uh, I always follow the directions so the dosage is uh, for every four drops is five gallons and he has the, the dropper cap also so it's good for 75 gallons. So I'll probably do, on the safe side, just do uh, one full cap and a half. This is a dose I always try to put in the high flow area, which is this gyre style wave maker over here. And I'll do another half. This one, I usually start my timer um, around 30 minutes then observe what's dying as far as flatworms and I go up usually between 45 minutes to an hour and I'll show you uh, once you get that strings or kind of the web that the flatworms uh, put out when they're um, you know panicking and dying. Right now I have RODI water in here the carbon and it's rinsing out 
Just rinse it out like so. Fresh new carbon. I'm using the bulk reef supply carbon. And what I usually do is, so I don't forget dosage. Um, I do, when I do calculations for uh, medications or carbon or anything that you usually use for your tank, I usually just write what my dosage is. The same thing for the off reef. What I'm using, I'm just using this jug, but you know, six scoops of alpha reef is equal to one liter. So for this right here, I mark the side. So it's easier for me because I can't remember everything. Uh, it's easier when it's written down. And you don't have to recalculate your, your mixing or dosing. This is the 30 minute mark. Uh, you'll see that there's some already dying flatworms. Uh, they are putting out this string-like web when they die. Let's see if I can find some more for you guys. But the, my first dose uh, last month when I started doing the flatworm exit, there was a lot of them. And what I do, let me take this filter off. I have this uh, filter roller. I usually just keep feeding it right now so I can get the flatworms out of the chamber and onto the mat because when they die, they're, they are poisonous. You're gonna see the flatworms. I went into the sump. So they're out of the water column. And I'll just keep feeding this until it clears up a little bit. And I'll keep feeding it after uh, the dosing is done to see, to try to take out as much flatworms as I can. I also try to siphon it out when I do the water change uh, in the tank. We're at the one hour mark, so it's time to put some of these carbon back in the system to take out the medication. So I have one. Always reach out to And two. So these are placed in a high flow area. Gets a lot of surface. Um, going through the carbon. And I just place this. There you go. Now time for the water change. Um, I'll have to turn off the wave, the skimmer, and the pump. And time to empty out 15 gallons of water out of this display. I'm gonna to try to siphon out as much of the dead flatworms along with um, the tritus um, that's in some spots in the tank. Once I 
I've taken out 15 gallons of water. I turned this knob right here and I turn another knob. And that will fill the water in the sump. At this time, I turn on the return pump. So the water can start going back to the main display. Once that's getting filled, I monitor um, the water level here. Sometimes I have to turn off the pump. Make sure the water is being filled and catching up uh, of the drainage of the salt water. And I'll just turn it back on. I just monitor this until my salt is emptied. So that's it for the video for today. I'm showing you how I dosed the flatworm exit. Um, like I said the night before, I dosed phosphate RX. And it looks like when I was picking off the green hair algae, it's a little bit easier to to, pu to pluck it off the rock. Hopefully, um, in the next couple of days or couple of weeks, I can completely um, get that out of my tank. Well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe if you like more videos like this. And have a nice day. Thanks.